Hello everyone, it's the Dutch of Formas and welcome to part 4 of let's build a villa in The Sims 4 here on The Sims Resource. So in the previous parts we've actually built the interior of the house and in this part I will actually do the, uh, well, did I say interior because I mean exterior and I think I said that but um, in this part I will be making the interior just like in the next part and then this series will be over or at least very likely it will be. Um, and you know, I just started up my game to actually start recording this episode and then I found out that I'd like put in a household because if you still remember last time I did not have enough money in the game to be able to place those so I had to actually uh, put in a family or at least that was my ID but um, then I chose to not buy it furnished and um, because of all those shelves if you don't buy it furnished you know the shelves are gone because that's actually furniture which is pretty obvious because normal people would use it um, as furniture but I decided to actually put it on the outside of the house but that's just for you if you are going to download this house and you have the option uh, you know which you will always have to buy it furnished or unfurnished yeah if you want to have the shelves remember to just um, yeah take it furnished because otherwise yeah you have to just put it in your game again it's not as bad as it was today because now I had to like place all the freaking uh, shelves over there again and you know playing the Sims 4 isn't you know a bad thing to do but if you have to place all those shelves it's like a very precise work which you have to do um, and that can be kind of irritating um, so I did that in front or to start with um, and I thought to not record it that because I thought yeah if something is boring it would be that so I decided to not do that and just start with the interior right now so actually right now I noticed that the interior of this house is like very small actually so I will have to see how I'm going to uh, make something cool of this which will work out I'm I'm sure it will but I have to just come up with an idea uh, idea for it maybe um, let me see because if I would you I'm remember that you can't place stairs next to windows that's just impossible what's this oh okay then I will first fix this problem because that's something that we don't want um let me see roof stuff and then just place this over there now okay this is going to be irritating because it doesn't look that nice actually if you see that so let me come up with an idea how to fix that of course it will not be until the next part that I will actually do the um, up, uh, upstairs area because I just won't have enough time to finish that in this part already but yeah it's not the best thing, well, not replace the palm trees, to have that inside the building actually. Um, there we go. And this one, yeah, actually, this one does have to be this far. Okay, um, let me come up with an idea. I heard that many people actually have this problem, um, and I heard that you can actually fix it. Not sure how though. Um, And I think maybe, you know, placing rooms or making rooms of something. Yes, there we go. Bam. Fixed it. Oop. I'm, I'm seriously happy right now because this can, like, this helps me a lot, actually. Um, But then I do want to have it back as it was. So I'm just going to do that again. So at least redo this the way it was. And then, um, how far can I go? This far. And then just do the same thing again. Make a room. Which doesn't work now. Otherwise, I can just redo it again. But last time it did work. So maybe now it does again. Um, and then, here we go. Because otherwise, I have to redo it again. And then... Yes, there we go. Bam. Uh, we fixed that, so I'm happy with that because now we won't have like such a problem when doing the inter interior of the house and I can just place stairs and stuff. Um, 
Okay, so what am I going to do? Because as you can see, it's a very small location or very small interior. So what I can place here is quite minimalistic. I think I could make quite a cool kitchen over here. So we'll actually do that and then make a living room there. So let's start with the kitchen. I think I'm just going to add some floors, floor tiles actually. Um, and then at both sides add some counters and some nice cool upper counters and stuff. Um, let me see. Go for something basic, just go for white or should I go for a cool color? I think white is realistic and I would like this house to be realistic so we'll go for that um, for today at least maybe in the next house by the way if you have any suggestion for uh, yeah for maybe a next season of this series here on uh, the sims resource please let me know because then you know we can take that into consideration of course um, for the next part or series which I hope there will be because I really enjoy making this um, for this channel um, so yeah, if you have any idea or something, then uh, please let me know. Uh, maybe you want me to build like a more classical house or something different, I don't know. Please just let me know if you have any suggestions and then maybe, you know, you'll see it back in the series. And, you know, we will be thankful that you actually suggested that. So, you know, then we're all happy again. Um... Let me see, because I want to add those cool pots and pans, but where are they? Oh yes, here they are, I think. Yes, there we go. Because I really like these objects, which we have in The Sims 4 now, these more detailed objects, or at least they're not that detailed, but they make a house more detailed, I mean. And I'm really happy with those objects, they, they're just really cool, so... I'm happy that that's finally added in The Sims 4, something like that. Um, maybe it would be better if I would actually also add something in front of the window. You know, it doesn't matter actually because we have those bushes here. So in that case, I can actually go all the way. Yes, that would be cool, you know, adding such a cool counter. Okay, that wouldn't work. I think we do need an entire block over there. And then, bam, there we go. Um, let me see, what will I place up here? Or on here, actually. Um, make this white. I'm not adding that there actually, because that is actually in front of the window. We don't have any bushes up there, obviously. So um, we'll not do that. Um, but instead, I will do this. I think, yep. But use this one there, and then this one over there. Because then, yep, that's better. Yep, and I would really like to actually add this one, enlarge it, because then it's like really decorational, and add that there. Okay, I really like the kitchen I think so far, at least the shape is cool, but I must say that kitchens like look pretty cool in The Sims 4 in general, just because you can do so much with them compared to The Sims 3 I think. Kitchens are regarding the interior, the, the coolest thing to build actually and kind of also the easiest because you can make quite many variations with uh, what you have in The Sims 4 which is also kind of a good thing I think. Um, so yeah, kitchens are cool. Um, let me see, what can I do there instead or just try to do something different. Um, or should I add stone? Stones. 
Um, because I've seen people using some cool stone patterns, but I've actually never found one yet. Or at least not one I like. Um, um, no, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I will just instead this and then add some color over here or no just add white over there also add all white over here but then over here add a color and I'm not sure about blue um let me see this would be like very bright but pretty cool actually i'll go for that um yep and then add some more stuff in the kitchen over here um i think i'm actually going to add this here on um, the sink and then add the microwave over here with a plant enlarged over here which would look cool I think and then make it different color red yep that's pretty cool I think I like it so um, I think I will also add a shelf over here a small one so that one is very small actually now we can actually do that it doesn't look that strange that it's a small shelf so from here it looks pretty cool actually well you only saw a wall but um anyways let's add some flooring over here and then make a living room here um, but how I think I have an idea I think I would just add the couch over here so let me see I want to go for this one or not maybe I can go for this one actually there we go and also add a rug on the floor because I like those they make a house look a little bit more de uh, detailed which makes a house look cooler so okay color red okay like I mean this rug or carpet or whatever doesn't have any cool looking color which is kind of disappointing about the Sims 4 the fact that you don't have like basic colors or normal colors in some uh, cases some are just like really strange actually um, and I often never use those and they could have better just chosen some normal colors to also use for every object I think that would have been cool because now I really miss uh, the color wheel actually um Yep, I'm not sure about this one either. But, you know, with some light we will maybe actually see the color of it, because right now I can't even see it. There we go. And then... Add a TV on here. Yep, with... And yeah, now I'm going to add some chairs along here. At least along the sides here. Mm. Within the middle there will be a table like this one. Oh yep, the door is kind of in the way there, so place those a little bit to the back and then use a cool color here I think. yep yeah that's cool cool enough at least 
if we go for this one. Um, then adding, what do we have here actually? Nothing that I can use here, I think. This, nope, I'm not going to add that. Um, nope, I will just add a plant over here and another shelf or something. Um, I do want to actually add a, this plant over there. And also change the wall color a little bit. Well, not change it, just add some wall paintings there. Um, maybe I can better go for, no. It's pretty cool actually that orange there, so I'll leave it. Go for the brown over here. And then over here I'll just add some white. Then we've got a nice color scheme around the house, around the interior actually. And then add this there. And add a cool shelf over here, I think. Which of course I shouldn't search for when I'm in wall objects. So, um, shelves. Where are they actually? Um, no, just search for reds okay that's not the one i was searching for come on um let me see okay nope okay seriously how can i have forgotten where it is um it's like between this nope it's not then i guess it is actually here or not between the kitchen items, not the lights. Yes, I think here we have some nice shelves. Mm. Oh, that one is actually smaller. Um, yeah, but you know, if I add another one there and add a light above it or the sides of it. It can actually look pretty cool. And maybe add some art above the plant here because I haven't used any art in the house. Which does make the house often look a little bit better. So, well, if you actually do use art, it makes the house look better, I mean. Um, so yeah, I will add something. Which is invisible because of the lighting, but well, not invisible, but not clearly visible. Um, then search. I must say that the search engine is pretty cool. For some reason, it doesn't really work with me today. But if you know what to search for, kind of, it works pretty good. But the problem is though that you often don't really know what to call the item when you're searching for it or at least that's my idea it doesn't really have a clear name but yeah whatever um maybe add a cool backpack over there to add some realism and then we do of course need a table where the sims can eat and then we can actually tune out for this episode because then we have actually done the first floor of the interior already which i think Turned out to look pretty cool, um, I really like it at least. Um, so I'm just going to look at the end of this part, which is in several seconds, at the upper level to see what uh, we will be doing for the next part at least. Build uh, or, you know, interior, do the interior of the, um, the bathroom and one of the bedrooms, or maybe another one, I'm not sure if we can actually fit another one in. Let me see. No, I will just divide the rooms already. Now I'm just talking already. Um, I guess I'll just divide it like this. Nope. I Oops. Huh? Okay. Strange enough. This 
we've got this roof coming back over here which is always nice of course who doesn't like roofs coming in their house so now and then um, what is this come on oh but you know I can just move it like that because it that doesn't really change the look of it so no problem and then I think this will be the bathroom this will be the bedroom maybe the other way around I think I'll actually re nope I will resize this one because the bedroom has to be uh, bigger and the bathroom has to be smaller so um, yeah anyways that was part four of let's build a house in the sims 4 a villa actually with a pool in the sims 4 here on the sims resource so i hope you enjoyed watching this part and i hope